Multiple sclerosis is an unpredictable and often disabling disease of the central nervous system. Millions suffer from this condition that often robs their ability to walk. I looked into natural treatments to find out if they can help. Our viewer Renee tells me she has the beginning stages of multiple sclerosis and of course she's done as much research as she can on her own. She's a little interested in vitamin B and wondering if that might help her condition. Have you ever seen that work for Absolutely. multiple sclerosis? Absolutely. The, the most important B vitamin for multiple sclerosis hands down is vitamin B12. Mm -hmm. um, and the type of B12, because there's four different types of B12 you can find when you're looking for mm -hmm. supplements, is called methylcobalamin, M-E-T-H-Y-L, cobalamin. Mm -hmm. That form of B12 helps the body produce the myelin sheath, which is the coating that surrounds the nerves. And multiple sclerosis being an autoimmune disease is a disease where our immune system attacks that insulation around the nerve. And so we need a lot of B12 to help repair it, to help make more of it. And isn't that a tablet that you can actually put under your tongue? So it, it actually goes into your bloodstream? Are there other forms or is that the best one? Well, typically with autoimmune disease, one of the issues is, is poor absorption. A lot mm -hmm. of these patients suffer from vitamin and mineral deficiencies because they have also gastrointestinal problems. And so, yes, with B12, you, there are sublinguals that can be taken under the tongue. And so we get absorption where we skip the stomach and we go right into the bloodstream. Have you ever seen or heard of patients who are able to get their nutritional values where they need to be and their levels where they need to be and actually be able to reverse a condition like this, maybe with diet changes? Absolutely. Or is it something where you have to also use prescription drugs? We've seen patients get out of wheelchairs. Um, so, you know, you take a disease like MS, which is very debilitating and can, can lead to a person's inability to ambulate or walk. What do we have to do? What are the things that I would recommend naturally that a person could do to, to really try to halt or alter the progression of that disease? Number one has to be diet change. There's three known causes of autoimmune disease, mm -hmm. and one is food. And so food allergy, gluten specifically, gluten sensitivity can contribute to MS. We also know there are two other causes, and one of those is environmental poisons like heavy metals. Mm -hmm. um, very, very common for somebody to have mercury or lead toxicity storing in their nerve tissues mm -hmm. and that creating or, or leading or, or trending toward multiple sclerosis like symptoms. And then the third piece of the puzzle is, as we have already talked about, vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Mm -hmm. Aside from vitamin B12, probably the most helpful supplement with multiple sclerosis is vitamin D. A lot of these patients have severe vitamin D deficiencies and vitamin D helps to regulate how the immune system responds. So if, if we're low in vitamin D, our immune system can respond in an over-exaggerated way, creating an autoimmune process. Well, I think it's important for people to talk to, maybe even talk to their own doctor about testing those levels. I am assuming there's a test for all of those, including your mercury level or any type of environment? That's right. These can all be tested, and typically the type of doctor I recommend is a functional medicine doctor, somebody who is going to look for the underlying cause of the problems mm -hmm. as opposed to medicating the overlining symptoms. Because we can medicate symptoms and we can improve quality of life in patients, but Medicating symptoms doesn't treat the origin of the disease. Mm -hmm. So if we're looking to really find for vitamin and mineral deficiencies, there are the right tests that can be measured. If we're looking for heavy metal toxicity, there are the right tests that, that can measure these things. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. And a big thanks to Dr. Peter Osborne with Origins Healthcare Center for that information. If you have a question to ask the doctor, you can reach out to me on Facebook at Melissa Wilson Fox 26 or on Twitter at Melissa Fox 26.